Good morning, I'm Brianna Perez with our monthly heart health segment in collaboration with the American Heart Association. As part of this segment, I am joined by Dr. Armando Mesa. He is the Chief of Infectious Diseases a Division at the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center of El Paso. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. Today we'll focus on the current situation of COVID-19 in the borderland. How is it looking as of right now? Well, we're seeing an increase in the cases. Uh, there's been some increase of the subvariants that we see now with Omicron and the patients end up in the hospital, they're getting sick and uh, we need to take care of them. So it's been a little bit of a worrisome situation in the last couple of weeks. What are some of the symptoms that people should look out for? Good question. The symptoms of both COVID and influenza are very difficult to tell apart. You're gonna feel sick, you're gonna have a fever, you can have a sore throat, some muscle aches. It is not possible for you as the patient to know whether you have influenza or COVID. So you need to get tested and find out which of the two are going to be the one that you have. If you end up having any of those two, there are, in addition to vaccination, are treatments that are available for you to take to prevent you from getting very sick and ending up in a hospital. So it's very important for our patients to seek medical care as soon as they feel symptomatic with you know, this, any of these conditions. And who is most at risk during this time? Well, the patients with, uh, you know, deficits in their immune system, patients with chronic illnesses, the elderly patients are the ones who are going to have the most complications with uh, this infection. And obviously, we're very concerned about, you know, what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. Kids are going back to school. Um, is there kind of a message that you want to send to parents during this time? Well, we need to be very careful because children are very good at uh, taking the infection and bringing it home. And if we have any elderly, anyone that is very sick, uh, they are likely to get uh, end up in the hospital if they are not uh, vaccinated or protected in any way. Would you recommend that the community get vaccinated at this time? Very important. We have the vaccine now, and you can get your bivalent COVID vaccine before you get your flu vaccine, and it's perfectly acceptable to do that, and you'll be protected, and then you can wait for your uh, flu shot next month. Perfect. And I know that the winter time is coming up pretty soon here. Uh, so how important is it to get both of those vaccines? Well, we know that our immune system is not going to last and protect us forever. So vaccines are the way that you can boost your immunity against both illnesses. And therefore, getting your timely vaccination is going to be very important for all, not only for the high risk uh, patients, but also for the healthy so you don't have uh, less uh, pro protection to, you know, from not getting vaccinated. We have to realize that COVID and flu are going to stay forever. We need to protect ourselves, especially when we are sick. We need to stay home. But if we are out in the community, vaccination is the best way that you can protect yourself from any of those these conditions. Uh, your healthcare provider should be able to let you know when is the influenza vaccination available and what kind of vaccine you need. We have many types of vaccines that they are all very effective with influenza. So talk to your healthcare provider and get the right vaccine for you. Uh, if you are going to have to wait four months before you are available to get this vaccine, get it now, get it when it's available as opposed to waiting. And COVID vaccines will be also a requirement most likely in the next future years. Well, thank you, Dr. Mesa, for your time today. And thank you for joining us for this month's Heart Health segment. We'll be right back.